Hey, what's happening? I'm Tom, NerdRemix.com. Now, uh, my kind of introduction to horror films is, you know, as long as we're feeling nostalgic, and a lot of people I think like to take a nostalgia trip, uh, my introduction to horror films with my mother um, watching the local creature feature on Saturday mornings, or Saturday afternoons, as it were. You know, if it was uh, snowing out, raining out, whatever, and I wasn't out running around like a little jerk ass, um, I watched old school horror, you know, like Hammer, Godzilla, stuff like that, Amicus movies, with my mom on WA, UAB uh, 43 out of Cleveland, Ohio, and they had a horror host, well, not really a horror host, but a movie host, um, super host, a lame guy in a Superman costume with a clown nose on. Um, Moving on, when I was a teenager, I worked a midnight shift at a gas station. I always took a little black and white portable in with me so I could watch the local thing. And it began at midnight on WPW 36 out of Toledo, Ohio, which was Dr. Shock's X-Ray Chiller Theater, which I enjoyed quite a bit because he did a lot of stupid skits in between. And uh, he did what was really, what's really the, the duty of a horror host is to make a bad movie good, make a mediocre movie good, or make a good movie great. And, uh, Nobody does that better these days than Midnight Mausoleum. Um, Robin and Marlena and, you know, along with Blake, the uh, producer, uh, they do a great job. And uh, I watch them quite a bit. They, I, they don't get carried on my local station, but I watch them quite a bit on uh, Friday nights. I'll stick the uh, USB, uh, or not the USB, but the uh, HDMI cable into my laptop, plug it into my TV in my bedroom, and uh, tune into the Monster Channel, 100YMM.com. And uh, they play them every night every Friday anyway, and uh, always a good time. Uh, on the nostalgia trip, uh, a lot of people doing the VHS thing, that's kind of a nostalgia trip, and uh, a lot of people aren't doing it well, but Midnight Mausoleum is releasing some of their stuff on VHS, and right here I have an actual VHS, it's printed, it's in a nice slip cover, it is individually numbered to 300 copies, I have volume 8, it comes with a very cool kind of uh, holographic uh, foilized collector's card with the ladies in question on the front and uh, it's volume 8 that I uh, checked out it happens to be their Christmas episode and uh, the snow beast is the uh, the movie uh, it's got a couple I think I think Phyllis Diller's in it maybe I don't know but it has Bo Svensson as the square jawed hero you had to have those in a 70 horrors movie and it's it's kind of a, a, a Bigfoot thing but the movie isn't really what makes this uh, what makes this is the Midnight Mausoleum gals and uh, the VHS put together really well there's a tracking thing at the beginning of it and I was like come on really and then I realized that it was actually part of the show so you know yeah it's it really gives you the good VHS experience and uh, Midnight Mausoleum you got you got Wolfred you got the uh, you know you got Franklin, you got Robin delivering the, the pseudo uh, creeper, pervy mail that some people send in. Um, you have uh, all, all the good stuff that, you know, you really want to see with a, a good horror host. And like I said, they really do the, the good thing of um, making a bad movie good, which is the case of Snow Beast because it's pretty much run-of-the-mill 70s uh, nature run amok type thing. But, uh, yeah, you got Wolford with the crappy jokes. You got Franklin. You got the uh, whole Christmas thing, which uh, the, the black Christmas tree and everything else. Uh, Marlena's decorating the tree. There's some truly uh, disturbing commercials from Bob Carp at Carmart. Yeah, there's, some of the commercials are truly disturbing. And there is old commercials, and they're authentic old commercials. And this does the, the, uh, the uh, VHS thing, the nostalgia trip very well. The old TV thing, uh, most of the commercials are probably from the early 80s, I'm guessing, if not the 70s. There's a really funny public service announcement about refrigerators. But, uh, like I said, the reason uh, Midnight Mausoleum works so well is because they can make a crappy movie good, they can make a good movie better, and they can make a great movie even greater. And uh, that is the true test of a horror host. So, I mean, uh, all the horror hosts in my past, kind of a, the evolution of the horror host would end up with Midnight Mausoleum. Um, consistently fun uh, and they make a they make movie watching a good time so uh, definitely check out uh, the VHS stuff I mean it's on their website midnightmausoleum.com only six ninety nine. you can't go wrong and uh, like I said they're individually numbered so they're very limited edition and it's not a crappily done VHS it's a quality product and you get the little collector card I actually bought one of their yearbooks at a horror convention this weekend so you know that was a lot of fun and uh, sweet girls and uh Great, great, uh, great fun watching 
Midnight Mausoleum. So definitely check out the VHS stuff. It's nostalgia done right. It's not uh, this other stuff people are trying to do in a nostalgia trip. Uh, Grindhouse, I'm going to put a bunch of scratches in a film and make it intentionally crappy. No, it's not like that. It's not that dumber than a bag of hammer stuff. There's actually some thought and some heart behind this, and uh, I really enjoyed it. They made uh, Snow Beast fun, which uh, is kind of hard to do, quite frankly. And uh, I really enjoyed it. So uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, a solid 8. And support your local horror host and support Midnight Mausoleum. And hopefully they get a national domination going, all right? Because that's what we need. I'd like to actually just turn my TV on instead of having to go through all the rigmarole of hooking something up to my TV to watch them. But I still do it, so that should tell you how much I enjoy watching them. And uh, I'd like to end this review with uh, 8 out of 10. Buy some Midnight Mausoleum on VHS and buy it on DVD. They got some really cool stuff. They got some really cool t-shirts. I own one. And uh, I'll wrap this up by saying I'm Tom, nerdremix.com.